What is up, my Forex for Beginners family? Okay, today is a very exciting day. You've started your Forex journey today. And I remember when I was you many years ago doing the same thing, starting a trading account with a broker. Uh, a broker is uh, used to give us access to the markets. This is where we place our trades so we can buy and sell um, currencies and the broker is what connects our computer to the live markets. So when you click on the link that I provided you, you're going to come to this, uh, this page right here and it says open a live trading account. One disclaimer I'm going to tell you right now is uh, my training is teaching you how to analyze the charts. My goal is to teach you how to be a professional at analyzing the charts and the charts shows us when to buy and sell and make profit. So I'm going to be showing you how to open a live account but within that live account we're going to open a demo trading account and what that means is you're trading the live markets but you're using fake money just so you can learn and uh, you know practice your skills and then once you're eventually done practicing and you feel confident in trading then you can go ahead and and finish uh, creating your live account and deposit money and that will be your choice once you feel confident. Um, I'm teaching you uh, for educational purposes only. I'm going to teach you how to trade using a demo account. Uh, once you go live that is absolutely your decision and uh, any profit or losses will be your responsibility. Uh, but for now we're going to be tra we're trading with a demo account. We're going to be free of any worry of you know making money or losing money. Right now I want your focus to be is learning chart analysis because that is step one of trading. All right, let's get started. Okay, so uh, right here it says open a live trading account. You want to put in uh, real information because once you do go live, uh, it's like having a bank account. You, you can't have people send you money to some sort of fake account, right? We're dealing with money here. It has to be a real account. So I need you to enter your real name, your real email address, and any information they ask you. It has to be legitimate and real stuff. So I'm going to enter my first name here, Saad. Ali is my last name. I'm your instructor if you haven't figured that out yet. Email address. So make sure you put a valid email address. Um, and then a password. So I'm just going to put like a, a weak password in here and then it gives me a warning. It says minimum eight characters, at least one uppercase, one lowercase, and one number and one special character. So you have to have a total of eight, at least eight, one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, and one special character. A special character is like a uh, explanation point or a money sign or a star. Um, that's what a special character is. So make sure you put a, a password that matches their requirements. Okay, so I entered my name, uh, my a valid email, I put in a strong password, I'm going to agree to the terms of service and hit open a live account. And so it says here success, an email has been sent to your, uh, tr uh, your email address. You can go ahead if your browser wants to save the password, you can save it. And then here, immediately in my email, I, I got a link here. So we're going to open that link up. And it says, thank you for signing up with Hugo's Way. You're almost done. To access your dashboard, please complete your profile by clicking on the link. So we're going to click on this link from our email. It's going to bring us to this. And so again, like I said, you have to enter real information because it's a real trading account. and. Um, we want to enter valid information. So put in your phone number here. So put in your phone number. Default currency. Regardless of where you are in the world, we're going to use a, a USD trading account. Um, if you're in Europe uh, or Britain, you can select Euro or GBP. Um, I don't select, don't select Bitcoin. Um, uh, you can if you want, but uh, Let's for fall for what I do as I trade a USD account. So select USD, 
Put in your date of birth. Make sure it's real because they're going to verify this. And then put in your gender and then again your, your address. Make sure it's valid. And then your postal, so your, your address, your city, and then your postal code or zip code. And then once you've entered all this information and you've verified that it's correct, hit create account. So now it brings you to your login page. So this is um, your Hugo's Way uh, login. So you can go ahead and favorite this if you want. You can label it Hugo's Way uh, login. Just hit done. Uh, favorite means you can easily come back to it. This is the, uh, the address of the website. Uh, this is where you're going to come to a regular basis to log into your trading account if you have anything you want to do in there. So I'm going to uh, log into my trading account here. I want you guys to do the same thing. Uh, so make sure put in your email address, your password, and then hit log in. Okay, so this right here is what we call your back office. This is the, uh, the uh, dashboard for Hugo's Way FX. So when you log in, this is going to be your main page, uh, your home page. It'll show you all your wallets. Right now, you'll have zero dollars in your wallet. Uh, like I said, we don't care about uh, uploading any money right now because we're going to be using a demo account. I'm going to show you how to create a demo account uh, in the next lesson. But right now, we're going to just finish our initial setup. So I want you to go to up here, look at this column over here. I want you to click on settings. So in here, I want you to get used to what you're seeing here. So right here, first, support pin. Support pin is when you need support. Uh, so say you have some sort of problem you want to figure out. Um, Hugo's Way support is going to, they're going to ask you for a, a pin. So if you look in the bottom right here, this is uh, their live support. So here's frequently asked questions. So if you want to do some research on some topics here, you can. But what I love doing is live chat. It's, it's a great feature. So if you click on live chat, uh, here you can select yes for push notifications. Select it so you won't ever miss some uh, if they come back. So here you can see I've already been chatting with Rachel. And, uh, you know, if you have a question, just type your question here and hit enter and you'll have Rachel pop up. But when Rachel or whoever is supporting you, uh, the first thing they're going to ask you is, hi, can you provide your support pin? The point of the support pin is uh, it verifies that who they're talking to is the account holder because in order for you to get the support pin, you have to be logged into your back office. So, um, just know that when you want to use live chat, uh, just click here, live chat. And if they ask you for a support pin, your support pin is right here. And that's under settings. So live chat, it's a great feature. Get used to using it if you have any problems. The next thing I want you to do is two-factor authentication. And so two-factor authentication is once you log in, they're going to have a second... Uh, uh, backup uh, where they're going to ask you for a code and you, there's two ways to receive that code either you can use an authentication app on your phone or you can enable uh, SMS uh, two-factor authentication um, so before we do that we're gonna jump down here where it says verify your phone number so make sure your phone number is entered correctly if you don't have a correct phone number it'll say this is not a valid number and it also says here to enter your country code before your phone number. So I'm just going to enter a phone number. Once it's a valid number, it's going to uh, say update or verify and then just hit that. And so it'll send you a text message to uh, your phone and you can enter that whatever four digit code it says and then hit verify. Uh, right now it'll say error because uh, I just made up that code. But once you're verified, then this, this verifying your phone number will be complete. 
then you'll be able to enable two-factor authentication via SMS. So if you want to receive your, your second authentication via SMS, uh, you can finish that process. So verify your phone number and then you can enable it. Or some people like using is, uh, it's called uh, two-factor authentication using uh, an app, an app on your phone. So um, what I'd suggest doing is because if you guys say you lose your phone or something, um, you may not have access to that app and that might be a problem. So you could click here, it says unable to scan, just click there and then maybe you can copy this down, copy this and you know put it in a notepad or somewhere uh, that's safe. You don't want to lose this because it's, um, it's a security code. Um, if you ever lose your phone, you can enter this code manually into the app um, if you ever lose it. But uh, I'm gonna go back to, if you click on two-factor authentication, um, it's gonna give you this code. And so I'm gonna do this now with you guys, with my phone. So on my phone, uh, you can see that uh, I have an iPhone, whether you have an iPhone or Android phone, or maybe this is a tablet, you want to go to your app store and once you in your app store you can type in uh, you can type in either Google authenticate and that's right here so you want to I've already downloaded it but you can hit uh, download or you could use a uh, uh, Microsoft Microsoft authenticate uh, right here, I also have Microsoft Authenticate downloaded. And then once you have them downloaded, you can see that uh, I have both of them here. Just choose which one you want to use. And uh, I suggest you can go into the app. The normal way to do it is uh, you, you just go into the app and you hit the little plus button and you go scan barcode or you can manually enter the barcode. Scan barcode. And this barcode that you see on your screen, it's supposed to scan and enter into um, enter into the app. But I've noticed this problem. Sometimes it has problems scanning. What I suggest doing for you guys is open up your camera. So see how I have the uh, I have the camera icon here. If you open up your camera, and then just kind of scan the code, then it says open an authenticator. And then boom, see that? It's already added Hugo's way. It has your email address. And that is the, you see the numbers that it's rotating there. It changes every 30 seconds. So now we're back on our computer. It wants you to enter this seven digit code, or sorry, the six digit code. So 769751. And then you hit submit. And now it says two-factor two authentication is enabled. So it's giving me a little thumbs up. It's saying we completed it correctly. And uh, that's all done. So that's the three things I want you to do. I want you to verify your phone number. I want you to choose one method of authentication. And then I want you to um, be aware of your support pin. And if you have any problems, you can always come into live chat and chat with them here. And so I'm just going to log out here and I'm going to try to log in and I'm going to show you guys what happens here. So now it's saying, please enter your two-factor authentication code on your authenticator app. So back to looking at my phone, see how it says Hugo's way uh, and it, see how it changed the number every 30 seconds. So once you have, you know, I have 26 cent seconds now to enter this code. So I'm going to enter this code on my screen now. 446076, hit enter. And now, now that's what two-factor authentication is. I have to, I have to um, go through the process uh, twice, right? So once I log in, it's gonna ask me for a second authentication. I usually go to my phone or you may receive a text message depending on what you set up. And that's what essentially two-factor authentication is. And you should be all set up with uh, those two items now. Okay, 
So the next thing we're going to do now is uh, KYC verification. So you click on the left column there where it says KYC verification. And now it says choose your country of residence. So we're going to select uh, Canada or select whichever country you're from. I'm from Canada. I live in the U.S. as well. So Canada, British Columbia. So select your um, country, your state or province and hit submit. And so this is a, a bit of a new process. Um, so we're going to have to upload some documents. So one's going to be our ID, whether it's a driver's license, passport, or some sort of government ID, and uh, proof of address. So you might want to find those two pieces of uh, information, and you're going to have to take a picture of it. And you can either upload it to your computer um, or I suggest maybe using uh, where it says here, scan this QR code and doing it on your phone because it's a lot easier. So I'm going to show you the method on our phone. So we're going to jump back onto our phone now and we're going to go to the camera button and then we're going to scan this QR code and then see how this link pops down and it says uh, click on Safari or whichever web browser you're using. And so here you go now you go start the verification process and then you select your country and now you're going to select what type of ID you want to upload. Uh, so Canada, I suggest using driver's license um, and then you can take a photo so you can select your photo and it's telling you to take a picture of the front of your driver's license. And so just go through this process. You're going to upload a, a driver's license and then go just go through that process. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I want you guys to go through the process and complete it on your own. You can also have the option of uh, you can go click here. And same thing, you can hit start, um, select your country, and then your driver's license you can take a picture upload it or you can say prefer using your mobile and then again just like i said use your camera button to scan and then you can open it up i'm not going to go through this process with you because it actually asks for um, two pieces of identification uh, it also scans a picture of your face um, like I said, you're creating essentially a bank account and um, you want to enter valid information. Okay, so let's just recap, recap on the KYC verification. Uh, once you click on that, you'll have two options. Either you can scan your, um, this barcode using your camera icon. So you go to your camera on your phone and you can start that process or you can click here and start the process on your computer. It all depends on what you find easier to upload your documents. So it's going to ask you for a driver's license. It's also going to ask you for proof of address, whether it's a, um, a, a electrical bill or some sort of billing that has your name, your address, and it wants you to make sure it matches your driver's license. And it's also going to um, try to take a picture of your face. So that's why I recommend uh, maybe doing it on your phone because it's, uh, it's a lot easier if you start this process on your phone because um, taking a picture of your face using your phone camera, it's, it's a lot easier. You know, everyone takes selfies. So uh, your phone is designed um, really well to complete this process um, using um, your phone. So once you finish this verification, uh, this is more for when you uh, start a live account. So let me just make this uh, comment here. Like if you have any sort of problems finishing this verification, um, you can always go to live chat and chat with them and tell them what your problems are. But uh, remember, this verification is only for when you're starting a live account. And we are not starting a live account. We are just creating a demo account. So... Uh, if you get hung up on this verification, don't worry. 
uh, we've accomplished what we needed to do. We needed to create an account. We needed to log into our back office. I wanted you to be aware of uh, your support pin. I want you to, wanted you to uh, enable two-factor authentication. I wanted you to verify your phone number. Uh, I wanted you to know how to use live chat if you have any problems. And then uh, KYC verification is what we do on our on our cell phone. I recommend doing it on your cell phone um, or you can do it on your computer either way. But once you finish that, um, you're all set up to open a, uh, a demo account and that's what I'm going to show you in the next lesson.